Bingo! You read it right. Today we are going to talk about nah. We are going to play some games and find out the three B's of gaming. Benefits. Top 5 benefits of regular gaming. Brain. What happens inside the brain of regular gamers? And balance. Two ways to achieve balance while gaming. So let's get going. Hey, this is Chetna and you're watching Chet Chat. So, you're tired of the constant nagging and hammering of your parents for playing video games regularly. So this is that video where you call your parents and make them see it. And by the way, do you know what the average age of gamers around the world is? Leave me a comment below with your guesses and we will surprise you with the answer at the end of the video. And now let's begin with the top 5 benefits of playing video games. At number 1 is blind side. Okay, we're going to play a game. All you have to do is count the number of bounces of the ball but only in the shaded area at the bottom of the screen and leave your answers as comments below. All focused? Let's start! Is your answer 10? Congratulations, it's the right answer. But did you notice the change in the shape of the shaded area? Or the change in the background color? Or the ghost? Or the ball with a smiley face? Now, pause the video, go back and see that part again. Surprised, aren't you? If you are a regular game player, you would have surely noticed. Gaming increases our sensitivity to such varied stimuli. And this helps us with better driving, remembering new places, creating a photographic memory. The University of Ranchester in New York found that playing action games compared to slower games increases the visualization of gamers by 25%. At number 2 is enhanced creativity. Let's play another game to find out your creativity level. Imagine you are a doctor and one of your patients is about to die from a tumour. You can't perform a surgery, but you have a ray gun which you can destroy the tumour at 100 level of intensity. But at this intensity, it will also destroy the good tissues. But if the intensity is decreased, it will not destroy the tumour. So what will you do? Pause the video and think for a moment and comment below with your strategies. Here is a creative approach. Surround the patient with 10 ray guns and operate them at 10% intensity, all focused at the same point of the tumour. Good tissue will survive and the tumours are gone. And that is how cancer cure machines work. Robotics, 3D printing, design farming, augmented reality are all shaped by groups of people who see the world differently whose minds work like a video game, like an animated movie. Regular and disciplined gameplay activates unused neurons in our brain to think constantly. So if you have a grandparent at home, play your next game with them. And before we move on to benefit number 3, I would like to give a shout out to Dhyana Trivedi who always leaves these stupendous messages under my videos. And if you want a shout out in my next video, leave me a comment below with the hashtag Chet Chatters. And now for benefit number 3, razor sharp focus. Let's try one more game. You are seeing texts in different colours. Now call out aloud the name of the colours one by one. Ready? Focus. Go! How well did you do? How easy was it? Were you getting confused between the text and the colour? Brain imaging has shown us that playing action-packed games regularly enhances the operational efficiency of three parts of our brain. Now we're going to discuss this in some time. But what gaming does is that it enhances our ability to focus on one object while ignoring distractions. 
Well, we all know razor sharp focus can create huge success in life. Benefit number four is mind mapping. Let's try a simple game to understand this benefit. This was just a tip of the iceberg for the level of brain work a game could demand. A really complex game could require short-term goals, constant learning, planning, failure evaluation and a lot more. Do you remember the popular game called Clash of Clans? A pure example of creating strategies of armies and clans, learning from past attacks and developing new defending strategies and what not. Research has shown that regular practice of these strategic types of activities stimulates connections between brain cells, creating neural pathways between different parts of your brain. The more you practice, the stronger the pathway becomes, creating a mapping structure that could be used in any given scenario, whether it's your studies, work or sports. Benefit number five is mechanical skills. Only a gamer knows with what level of speed and accuracy and fist control is required to play games like Fortnite. And by the way, let me know your favorite game in the comment section. Now this super fast movement of thumb, fingers and hands doesn't go in vain. The muscle memory can be broadly used in areas like vaccine slot booking, <laughs> speed typing, managing heavy and complex machinery in the real world like an aircraft or even a musical instrument. Inside the brain of a gamer. Now, when we know the marvels of playing action-packed games regularly, have you ever wondered why getting bonkers with your video game, crushing your keyboard and joysticks, echoing the entire house, completely focused, performing miraculous turns and moves, that how exactly the computer of our body responds to create such a marvelous experience. Blimey, the brain starts playing its own multiplayer game with the three most active faculties, starting with the parietal lobe or the cortex, located at the rear side of the brain. They are well known to control the orientation of attention. This is the reason you deliberately build focus in the game. Then comes the frontal lobe, located in the front side of the brain. This guy helps to sustain attention. This is the reason you can play for hours and hours. And finally, the anterior cingulate, located in between the parietal lobe and the frontal lobe. This faculty is responsible to control how we locate, regulate attention and resolve conflict. This is the reason that you can eat your popcorn without losing focus on the game. When all these three are engaged, they create a sharp and lasting focus. But the question is, why do we feel so great while gaming and not the same while studying? This is because the cocktail of three major hormones are released by the brain while we play games. The first is dopamine. This is the feel-good hormone. Dopamine is the brain's way of saying thank you, as it is released whenever we get more points, level up or kill. Hence, more reward means more dopamine. This is the reason we find ourselves continuously playing on the loop. The second is endorphins. Endorphins are our natural painkillers and they are released by the pituitary gland. They reduce your stress and in fact they create the thrill and excitement while playing. So if you reach a euphoric level of happiness while playing, you have an overdose of endorphins. The third hormone is oxytocin. This is the love hormone. Because you are in love with gaming, the body releases oxytocin. Do you know that oxytocin is like a cure for depression, anxiety and even some intestinal problems? Overall, these three hormones together make a healthier and happier you. But remember that everything is good in moderation. And before we talk about the two best ways to achieve balance while gaming, if you are looking for other ways to increase your brain power, then take a look at this video below. Balance. 
Sometimes too much of a good thing can also be bad. So there are two things you need to be careful about. Number one, playing in a cage. The goal is to gain the benefits of playing video games without getting carried away. Well, the problem here is the compulsion and not the video games. Even drinking water compulsively can be dangerous. So the trick here is to play in smaller sessions and take a break. So allot your game time as a reward for some other important activity and never cross the time limit. Number two, active gaming. The benefits could only be realized when we play actively and not scratching our phone screens, playing Candy Crush's 600th level lounging in our bean bags. So shuffle around a wide variety of action-packed games of multiple genres to have fun while you learn. And now, do you know that the average age of gamers around the world is 33 years and not anything around 12 or 20 years? So happy learning or should I say happy gaming.